easy on the brakes. Keep it steady. Moose! Please! I know these country lanes like the back of my Trevor! Look out! <gasps> Thank goodness! Oh, what do we do now? I'll phone for help. Oh, oh, no signal? Listen to me, everyone. I'm an expert in survival techniques. Hear that, Trevor? We'll be safe with Moose in charge. We don't need Moose, Gillis. I'll tell you what we need. <clears throat> when things are going wrong, there's nothing like a good old song. <gasps> oh, Singing won't get us out of here. We need action. And action is my middle name, eh? Oh, I thought your middle name was Danger. Stop quibbling, Trevor. Moose knows best. Oh, cold feet. No apple. What a day. In you go. And keep quiet. Shh. There's nothing else for it. I'll have to go and get help. But you're supposed to stay with the vehicle in an emergency. Don't worry, Trevor. I'm an expert in Arctic survival. I'll be back with help in no time. Oh, he's so brave. He seems to know what to do. I know what to do, too. Oh, yes. And what's that, then? Um, we're going to go outside and light a fire. Yes, that'll keep us nice and warm. A fire? Cool. Start collecting anything you think will burn. How about these wooden slats from the seats? <gasps> Brilliant! Your ukulele? No! Not Marjorie! Marjorie stays with me. I, uh, I think we have enough now. Come on. Naughty sheep! I told you to pick Elvis? What are they doing here? Oh, Sam! Penny! I, I oh, promised to look after them for Norman. You can't keep sheep here, Elvis. What about Station Officer Steel? Oh, what am I going to do? You see, Dennis, Moose isn't the only one who knows about survival. We've run out of things to burn. We need to keep warm until help comes. I'll see what else is on the bus. Very strange. Did either of you see what happened to Mike? He went that way. He was being chased by a giant snowball. What? Mike could be down there, injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price.
much better. Right, we're off to do some more snowboarding. Uh, that snowboard of yours, Norman Price, looks suspiciously like your mother's ironing board. She's not going to be very happy about that. Oh, uh, it was his idea. No, it wasn't. It was yours. Well, whoever it was helped me to save Mike Flood. It was mine. No, it wasn't. It was mine. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Let's get you home. Thank you for coming in, Sam. As you know, Penny is away today. Yes, sir. The new holes needs to be fitted to Jupiter, and I'm fairly certain that Cridlington will need help. Hmm. I think you might. I'll cut the motor so we don't scare away any sea creatures. You kids, carry on with your project. <sighs> oh, I see a cormorant. Yes. yes. Isn't that a seagull? No. Look at the wings. You're right. That's worth ten points. What's that over there? The water's all shimmery. I've never seen water shimmer like that before. Shimmery? Where? Right there. Fantastic. You've spotted a shoal of fish, James. A, a big shoal. The biggest shoal I've ever seen. Wow. Hang on, kids. You're going fishing. Yeah. <laughs> you see, Elvis, you start at the fold and roll it from there. Oh, you start at the fold. Right. That way, you can grab it with one hand, pull it out like this, and it connects to the coupling at the end. The coupling, of course. It all makes perfect sense now. <laughs> There's just about ten feet left. Do you think you can finish it on your own? No problem. Great. Uh, sir, if it's all right with you, I'd like to get back to Charlie. I promised I'd help him fix a tap. Oh, yes, of course, Sam. Um, Sam, what did you say about grabbing it at the folded end? Uh, yes, Charlie, we'll have to wait a little longer. James, keep us headed into the wind. Mandy and Norman, pull the long line. Sarah, man the winch. What are you doing? I don't know, but it's exciting. Woo it's a big catch. Stand back, kids. I'm bringing it in. Wow! I've never seen so many fish. Hang tight. Come on. Catch I have ever had, and I will not give up! Finished! That's great, Elvis. You coiled it perfectly. Thanks for showing me how, Sam. A firefighter has to take good care of his equipment. I'm sorry I kept you from helping your brother. That's okay, Elvis. Knowing Charlie, he's probably taking a nap right now. No! If I could just have this horn, it would make me a legend! Biggest catch in the history of Ponty Party! No, ah! There, out at last. Now back to the station. Oh, I'm not looking forward to washing Jupiter and Venus, Sam. They're the muckiest they've ever been. That's all the rope there is. Oh, no! Can we pull him back up? Uh, uh, he's a bit too... Oh, ho, 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 happy for that! Oh, he's stuck. We need Fireman Sam. Moose, have you got a flare? Oh, yeah. It's in my backpack. I'll try and uh, reach it. Yeah, got it. If you can set off the flare, then someone will see it and rescue us! Stand back, everyone! Here it goes! Oh, look! A flare by the lighthouse. Something must be wrong. I'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> A flare has been seen coming from the lighthouse. Ooh! Sam! Thomas just seen a flare coming from the lighthouse! Someone's in trouble. We're on our way, Station Officer Steele. Look! Here comes Simon Sam! He's pretty high up. Hang on in there, Roots. We'll have you down in no time. Tom, come in. 
and Tom, I'm going to need the double harness. Roger that, Sam. One more way. Elvis, you and Penny take this and inflate it under roots. Righty ho, Sam. by you trying to get out of washing Mike's van, Norman Price. I'm sorry, ma'am. And I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused, Fireman Sam. Don't worry, Norman. I'm sure I can find a way for you to make it up to me. <laughs> you were right, Sam. The wind will have changed direction in the mountains, too. Hmm. I'd better call Station Officer Steele. Hello, sir. <laughs> I need to get a message to Mrs. Chen up in the mountains. There's no mobile reception up there. I'll review Moose at the Mountain Activity Center. He'll get the message through. Ask him to tell Mrs. Chen that the wind has changed. If she lets the lanterns off now, they'll float towards the trees and it won't be safe. I'll do it right away, sir. Here we are, everyone. Oh, at last. And I've got a bucket of water ready, just in case. Stand in line with your lanterns, please. Gareth will light them. Thank you, Grandad. Oh, no, I'm at the end. Oh, what pretty lanterns. Oh, hurry up. There we are, Norman. Ha! Up, up and away! Wait for the hot air from the candle to fill your lantern or it'll just fall to the ground. Oh, come on, lantern. Get up. I can feel mine lifting. Don't let them go. Not until I say. On the count of three. One, two... Stop, Mrs. Chen. What? I got a message from Fireman Sam. He says the wind's changed. Why, yes, it has. It would be very dangerous to release the lanterns now. Right, everyone. Blow your candles out. What? But it's all ready to go up, up and away. And I've waited so long. Oopsie. Norman Price. But it, it just slipped out of my finger. But, but oh, oh, isn't it beautiful? It's not beautiful. It's dangerous. The wind's blowing it right into <gasps> the, the pine forest. forest. I better radio for Fireman Sam. A forest fire up in the mountains? <gasps> Sam, there's a forest fire up in the mountains. I think we'll need Tom Thomas's helicopter and Bessie for this one. She wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain, Mrs. Chen. <gasps> Maybe she's gone up there. Oh dear. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll head back to Ponty Pandy to pick him up. <laughs> Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I found them 
on the north face, Tom. I'm on my way. Lower the double harness, Tom. See you at the bottom, Sam. There you go, Mandy. Safe and sound. But I don't think you should go mountain climbing on your own again. The mountains are a very dangerous place. I'm sorry, Sam. I just really wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain. Well, I think you need a bit more practice first. I know, Sam. But don't you worry, Mandy. You'll make it one day. And I'll give you lessons any time you want. No problem. Thanks, Moose. Everyone's okay. <sighs> I bet Moose saved the day and did something really brave. No, Elvis. I couldn't save Mandy. I was just the helper. Fireman Sam was the real hero. <laughs> well, I, I don't know about that, Mandy. <laughs> oh, great! I've got my first rescue for my book. <laughs> Chapter one. The Daring Mountain Rescue. Now, tell me. You're right. Three short flashes, three long flashes, uh, three short flashes. <gasps> That's Morse code for SOS. SOS? Sauce. Does someone want sausages? No, Cridlington. SOS is the signal people send when someone is in trouble. A distress signal from someone on Ponty Pandy Mountain. That signal must have come from the Ponty Pandy Pioneers, sir. They're on an excursion with Tom and Moose. Sam, you and Penny take Venus. You haven't a moment to lose. <laughs> Don't think this branch will hold out much longer, mate. Stand back, kids. Penny, I'm going to have to use the tree spurs. But we haven't tested them yet. We don't have any choice. OK, Penny, the spurs are holding. I'm going up. You keep the safety line clear. Sam. Well, Tom, I guess we learned our lesson today. We shouldn't have been so competitive. And we shouldn't have taken risks. Yeah, and I'm sorry we set a bad example for the kids. Luckily, the Ponty Pandy Pioneers saved the day with teamwork and quick thinking. Should we head home? Just one more thing to do. Let's take James to the mountaintop so he can plant that flag. Lead the way, Sam! Quick. Oh, I made it too easy. <laughs> yes, right. My turn again. I was just wondering, sir, if uh, I might have a go at all. Oh, 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 oh yes, of course, Sam. Uh, I suppose. All right, Elvis. Off you go. I'm going to find a really good place to hide this time, Sam. <laughs> I hope we find something more exciting to take photos of up here. There was nothing interesting in Ponty Pandy. I don't think we should go too far. It looks like it's going to snow again. Don't be a baby, James. It'll be... Wow! Look at these footprints! They're probably nippers or something. But they're huge! They're way too big for a dog. 
I bet they belong to a polar bear. Come on, James. I don't think so, Sarah. My book says... Oh, Sarah! Wait! There! Found you, Elvis! We can see you in the training tower about halfway up. Oh, already? Oh, snow in again. I think we should go back now, Sarah. I'm freezing. It, it can't be too far away now. L let's just look a bit f f further. Come on, Sarah. It's starting to snow. I want to go home. But, but I really want to get my photo of the polar bear. I, I want to win the c c c competition. There won't be a polar bear, Sarah, and I don't want to get lost. Wait, look! Why don't we shelter in this cave until the snow stops? Then we can head home. OK, Sarah, but only because the snow's making me really cold. Oh, hello, love. Hey, where are Sarah and James? They're still out with the camera. I'm getting a bit worried. This is all your fault. I'm freezing. But uh, I want to get a photo of a polar bear. Oh, I keep telling you, Sarah, there aren't any polar bears in Ponty Pandy. Huh? Um, um, James, I, I think the polar bear's coming into the cave. <laughs> I'd better call my brother. Call Fireman Sam. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> what was that, Elvis? <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Brilliant, Elvis. I uh, don't suppose I could have a turn, could I? Norman Price and his go kart have ended up in the sea. Hasn't that happened before? bobbing this Halloween, but it's time for some Norman bobbing instead. Norman bobbing? How do you do that? Well, you're allowed to use your hands, but you have to lean out really far. And keep your balance, and... I warned you about that go-kart of yours. I know, ma'am. But I had this brilliant plan to get every sweet in Ponty Pandy. Every sweet in Ponty Pandy? No wonder there weren't any left. We like trick-or-treating, too. Um, yes. Sorry about that. Well, Norman, maybe it's time for the others to have some sweets now? Yes. Come along, all you other trick-or-treaters. Yes! yes! My sweets. <gasps> Nipper? What's that, my treasure? Nipper is driving the train, ma'am. Stop being silly, Norman. Well, look for yourself, then. Just see the dog was driving. 
you in the tree? Not so boring now. <laughs> Over. We brought you back a Ponty Pandy Railway Souvenir Mug, sir. Uh, Station Officer Steele? You're right, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm a bit, um, stuck. Stuck? stuck? Uh, Station Officer Steele was demonstrating how firefighters should always stick together. Yes, exactly. That's what it was. A little exercise in teamwork. But, uh, if you could unstick us now, Sam, I'd be, uh, very grateful. <laughs> you need to shelter behind some rocks. Those canisters could explode at any moment. Okay, Sam. Ida Moritz, Bridlington. What are you doing here? We've got an emergency at the Mountain Activity Centre, sir. We'll have to take firefighting equipment up on the Ponty Pandy Flyer. But it's already up at the centre, Penny. Oh, no! What are we going to do? <gasps> I know just the thing. Say hello to Bessie! <laughs> oh, dear. Come on, girl. Don't let me down now, Bessie. Now, Betty, let's show them what you can do. Come on! Betty to the rescue! Yes, like the old days! Is this your old fire engine, sir? That's right, Sam. Meet Bessie. I'll get the hose. Hey! It's not over yet, Gunner. We still have to cool down those canisters. That's okay, Moose. But next time you move those canisters, make sure your campfire is out first. I will, Sam. Well, well done, old girl. Oh, uh, yes, just having a little... <laughs> you know, sir, I think Bessie's going to make an excellent addition to our team. You do? Yes, sir. There's just one thing we need to do first. Who? Oh, what's that, sir? We'll see. For coming to the rescue when we needed you, and for putting out a very dangerous fire, I hereby make you, Bessie, an official fire engine of Ponty Party. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, Bessie, you 
Glück. I did it. I trained Radar to present the trophy. <laughs> There's a fire at Dillis' shop. Ooh, ooh. There's a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe as well. We have two emergencies. A fire at the Cut Price store and a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe. Sam, you and Elvis steal the shop. Penny and I will head for the cafe. Right, sir. Fire. So first, I'm going to turn off the power. Petition means no trophy. Well, there is someone who should get a trophy, and the winner is Elvis for being the best dog trainer in Ponty Pandy. I think we lost Elvis. We're not lost. The key is this way. That way is the cliffs. No, the cliffs are by those trees. I think you're wrong, Elvis. I'm not wrong. In fact, I've never been more right. I know exactly where we're going. Ah! Say, I told you we were heading towards the cliffs. Oh, oh sorry, oh. boy. Oh, it's a long way down. Ah, oh, but it was meant to have started ages ago. Excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but have you seen Elvis? He seems to be missing. Cridlington is missing? Yes. If he doesn't arrive soon, we'll have to cancel the show. We have no singer. Oh, I say. Oh, I am pulling. I think it's time to phone Fireman Sam. White Flood is hanging off a cliff, clinging to a giant guitar. And I thought this would be a quiet night. Tom, this is Sam. I'm going to need some back. Roger that. Hold on, Mike. Sam will be here soon. You can't hold on much longer, Elvis. <laughs> kids, but it's getting late. I think we ought to go home. Oh, please, Mum. Can't we wait just a little longer? 
Well, we've run out of time. I'll have to send everyone home. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry, but Elvis is not here tonight. So, I'm afraid... I'm afraid there will be a change in tonight's programme. I will sing for you. You? Yes, me. After all, firefighters must always be prepared to step up when the public needs them. Are you ready? Of course. Marjorie and I are always ready. Clap your hands and tap your toes. Become your head fit and you fire hose. Gonna have a great big celebration. Everybody's dancing at the fire station. Right, everyone. We must be on full alert. Norman Price is out at sea and anything could happen. We need to make sure that all the equipment is ready in case we need to launch Operation Nautical Norman. I've checked the water pump on the first aid kit, sir. Excellent, sir. Penny? The hose and the jaws of life are in good working order, sir. Well done. And Cridlington? Cridlington? <gasps> what are you doing? Uh, so, sorry, sir. I was just making the boat look more like Charlie's. I wanted it to look realistic. <laughs> I can't wait to catch the first fish. No way, Mandy. I'm going to get the first one. Now, now, you two. I'm sure you'll both catch a fish. Mandy, you drop your line just here. Oh, Norman, come quick. I've just seen a real whopper. I think it's gone this way. Oh. Mummy's going to be so proud when you catch your first fish. What? Here, Mum? No, here. Oh, this net's in the way. Hold on. Oh, what was that, Charlie? Oh, what's going on? It's stuck. Something must be caught round the rudder under the boat. It's my fishing net. How did that get me? I can't steer the boat at all. I need to call the fire station for help. Keep pumping, Cridlington. We need to make sure it's working well. Yes, sir. You never know when... <gasps> my word! Whatever Norman Price has done, he's done it already. Charlie, a fishing net has got tangled around the rudder of his boat and he can't steer, so they're drifting on the open sea. I wonder how the fishing net got round the rudder. Well, I shouldn't doubt that Norman Price had something to do with it. Penny, we need you to scuba dive and untangle the net. Elvis, you go too. Yes, yes sir. sir. Find her fast. Hey, Sam! Radio the station! This is an emergency! Lily is missing. 
missing from the beach and the tide's coming in. We need to get there fast. Come on, Vader. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Chen. We'll find her. <coughs> Sam, I think Radar's heard something. You're right, Elvis. But hold on, everyone. Stop calling. Radar's heard something. Let him listen. <coughs> must have heard her crying. Well done, boy. The tide is coming in fast. Soon it'll be washing over that bit of sand she's on. We must act quickly. Don't worry, sir. Lily, I'm coming to get you. Careful, Sam. The current's very strong. I can feel it tugging at my legs. Whoa! Oh, dear. It's all right, Lily. I'm coming. <laughs> I got her! <laughs> Come on, Peggy! We can do it! <laughs> well done, everyone! Good job! Where are you? You're meant to be helping with the equipment, Jeff. Um, and several items of equipment appear to be missing. Ah, well, uh, I borrowed them. Uh, I'm just at the whole fish cafe. Back in a moment, sir. Why would anyone take a thermal image camera, a loud hailer, and a fiber optic camera to a cafe? Paddington? Oh, uh, hello, station officer Steele. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a mess. My cafe's been turned upside down, and we still haven't found Norris. <laughs> What's that? Haven't found what? Firefighter Cridlington. Well, Station Officer Guinea Pig, of that I mean Station Officer Steel. We were trying to find a Station Officer... Like, I mean a gu guinea pig. A guinea pig? You don't need all this equipment to carry out a simple guinea pig rescue. Oh, dear, dear. For that job, a firefighter needs one thing only, and I'll be back with it shortly. I'll help you tidy up, Elvis. Let's start with the freezer. right to Sunflower seeds. Guinea pigs love them. I shall sprinkle them upon the floor and the little fellow will come and eat them. <laughs> oh, yes. I bet Norris loves sunflower seeds. Norris? That's my name. What? Anyway, let's get on with it. I scatter the seeds and... Oh, there he is! And I haven't even scattered them yet. No, sir. The guinea pig's frightened. Look! The cellar! It's on fire! Oh, full penny! Everyone out of the cafe! A fire at the whole fish cafe! And a guinea pig's lost somewhere inside. Oh. We'll save you, Norris! Norris? Why does everyone keep using my name? It's that guinea pig that needs saving, not me! It's time to use some equipment properly, Elvis. Let's find the source of the fire penny. There. We need to work together on this. What are we going? Well, here they all come. Hey, Mum! What do you think of the decorations? They look wonderful. Well done, you two. She really is quite something. Oh, I haven't seen one of these since I were a lad. 
Look, Lily, it's a steam train. Smoke! No, Lily, it's steam. Smoke! Did someone say smoke? If the water tower falls, it'll crush the train. Stand back, everyone! Oh, cool fire and sound! <coughs> a fire at the new railway station? There's a fire at the new railway station! Now keep calm. The weight of the water in that tower will be very heavy and it could collapse at any moment. Elvis, spray water at the base of the tower. Penny, drive Venus up to the front of the train. Roger that, Sam. <laughs> Stay back, everyone! Stay with me, you two. Now drive, Penny! Penny pulled her out of the way just in time. Thank you, little Lily. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have seen the fire. Sam, if the train is okay, can we still have the opening ride then, Grandad? I'm afraid not, James. There isn't enough water in the tank yet. Oh, well, oh, never mind. mind. Oh, isn't that a pity? Wait, I've got an idea. If it's water you need, Jupiter can fill it up. What a totally brilliant idea. It is, Elvis. So the opening can go ahead after all. Oh, fine. Coming, ready or not. <gasps> Lily, we're in Mum's keys. Not you as well. I can't believe anyone would find this movie sad. <laughs> no, it's not the movie. It's smoke. Fire! Okay, listen to me. The fire is blocking the back door, so let's calmly leave through the front door. It's locked! And there's no key! The windows are locked too. We can't get out! Nobody panic. I want everyone to lie flat on the floor, heads down to avoid breathing in any smoke. I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Oh, yes. That's a good diddle. Ready? Aim! Emergency! There's a fire at the floods, and the ladies are locked inside. Let's go, Elvis. Does that mean we won? Wait a minute. That's my house. Again. I 
guess I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I haven't done very much fixing before. <laughs> no! No! Elvis, you mustn't get so worked up. Remember, a firefighter must always remain cool and calm. Cool and calm. Right, Sam? What was that terrible racket? <laughs> Penny is teaching me how to fix things. Well, Cridlington, perhaps you could learn how to fix things somewhere else. Penny, why don't you take Elvis down to the dock and show him how to work on Neptune? Good idea, Sam. Take care, Mandy. And remember everything Charlie taught you. And let me give you one more hug. Mom, I'm only going as far as the lighthouse. Good luck, Mandy. Oh, I'm oh, sailing, Mandy. We'll be cheering for you. OK, Mandy. So, what have I taught you? Keep within view of shore at all times and be safe. Watch out for gusts of wind and dangerous objects floating in the water. Especially driftwood. Right. Off you go, Captain Mandy. Hooray! Yes. That's great. I'm just not very good at fixing things, Penny. I didn't do very well back at the station. If you remember what Sam said and stay calm, then I'm sure you'll be fine, Elvis. OK, Penny. I'll try. I'm going to start you with a job that's very important, but very simple. Simple. That's good. This drill is for tightening and loosening bolts. Left to loose, right to tight. These three bolts hold the motor onto the back of Neptune. You just need to make sure they're good and tight. Can you do that? Oh, sure, Penny. That's easy. <laughs> Left to loose, right to tight, and it will be all right tonight. <laughs> it. Oh dear, that doesn't look right. She's going very fast. It must be really windy out there. Sure? What did you see? Tell me everything. I saw splashes. Big, huge, splashy splashes. Then a black tail. And then I heard a strange rumbling. This is great. It really isn't. The Ponty Pandy Nest Monster is back. People will want to know about this. Bronwyn, Sarah spotted the Ponty Pandy Nest Monster. Charlie, Sarah spotted the Ponty Pandy Nest Monster. There's no such thing. Right, Dennis? Have you heard? The Ponty Panty Nest Monster is back! What's that you say? The Ponty Panty Nest Monster is back! And the lake? It will be packed with visitors, yes! Uh, yeah, well, I think that calls for a risk check! Ooh. I'll go! I'll go! <laughs> okay, Cridlington, but remember, it's official business! <laughs> All right, Penny? Yes, Sam. But I'll be glad when we finish team building. All aboard! Wait for me, wait for me. I want to see the monster. It, oh, I mean, uh, for official fire service business, of course. She's still not holding. We're going to need more wood, eh? Day this is. Bye, Santa! What did the monster look like? Did it have big pointy teeth? Where did you see it? Uh, it was, uh, there. Where? Uh, there! Yes, yes, there it is again! What the grizzlies is going on? Wait! It's the fix! It's the jetty's the fix! Did you hear that? The monster's underneath us. Oh, Trevor! Oops. 
Sarah, is that what the monster sounded like? I, uh, I, uh... See? Sarah's putrefying! She knows the sounds of the monster! James! <gasps> oh, no! There's a radio transmitter inside the center! Call Fireman Sam! Okay, everyone, try to stay calm. Fireman Sam will be here in the time. Not a single call so far, Sam. You were told about the firework code must have worked. Let's hope so, Penny. Maybe we should go and check on Bessie. She's very close to that firework display, you know. I'm sure she's fine, sir. Some Roman candles. Yeah! Are they spaced far enough apart, Grandad? Oh, yes. And are you lighting them with a safety taper? Of course. Can I start now, young Jim? Yes, Grandad. Just wait till you see the grand finale. The Catherine Wheel. Oh, brilliant! I love Catherine Wheels. Wait! Yes, James? Is the wheel pinned on securely, Grandad? It certainly is. And is it loose enough to spin around? I'm sure it will be fine. Oh, Grandad! What? No! And now it's setting fire to the shed! Oh my! Oh! oh. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam! Oh dear! This is a The storage shed at the railway station's on fire! Wait for me! Oh, I just knew this would happen. I thought I checked everything. It was the Catherine wheel. It's not supposed to be laid on that tight. Page 7, paragraph 2. Put your foot down, Sam! That fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm 